The Blade Warrior by Present Toys, it's the 1-6 skill figure we are going to check today. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. We finally have a third party Blade. This one is from the second movie. Hot Toys did the first movie Blade back in 2010. It's been 13 years and that figure suffered with pleather issues. Anyway, here is the art box that Present Toys Blade Warrior comes with, with these red and dark colors. Very cool. I do like the way they did this art box, but there's not much into it on, on the sides. You got more patterns in the back here, Blade Warrior, and then with the warnings. However, with this box, Present Toys did change a bit, now it's like a sleeve box, not a window box, and we got here other artwork, here we can see Wesley Snipes in a side photo, do you think I forgot about you? Blade Warrior, Present Toys on the sides, in the back, the warning and notice, let's see what we got inside. Everything with this figure can pack in this clamshell, totally there are three layers, we are going to go over them just to show you how well packed this is. In the first layer we do have our Blade Warrior with extra ends and from here I'm already liking what I'm seeing and I can feel the leather, the genuine leather smell coming from his coat. In the second layer we do have a huge display base and we got then all accessories that we are going to cover right now but let me take everything out and put it in the light box. Here we have all the accessories that our blade comes with. After checking it out it looks like that most of these accessories are the same that Hot Toys did back in 2010. This is everything we have. We are going now to check them closer and to give my first opinion on it. And here we got the hands. Totally we have uh, four extra pairs of hands, these gloved black hands. Well painted, not rough at all. I do like the clean paint they applied into these. And you have the hands for use with all the accessories that our Blade Warrior comes with. You got as well this bomber jacket. One thing I like about this is the magnets, they include the magnets here, easier to use it. Not a jacket that I'm very eager to use, I do like the big coat, but here the elastics there on the wrist looks good. The fabric feels very good, feels like a very good quality, no any complaints about this bomber jacket. We got as well this weapons holster, present toys didn't mention, but I believe it's made of leather, those holster parts. Here of course is made of just fabric, but I think these the real holsters, I think they are made of leather, because they are very sturdy, they are not that very thin leather that sometimes Hot Toys uses. We got then this accessory that is one of my favorites, these foldable glaives. You do have the ability to fold from one side, so don't try to push the other one. Only one side will do it. It does everything uh, easily. Don't try to push the other side. The paint application is good. I just don't like so much the paint application on the center is a bit rough but it's so tiny that you don't notice. We also have then these extended blades, you can push them out and then you just need to find a position to fix them or else they will go back. Then you got the, the elastic then to attach into his wrist, it's better to be elastic than like this but as I was saying blades they come out but you need to find a position for where they will stay in place. But I do like the work they did with this. We got then Blade Ingram Mac 10 modified submachine gun. I do like the work they did with this. I wouldn't mind a bit of more weathering into it, looks too clean. But you have here the cartridge you can put out. There's no any movement here on the gun, but looks cool, looks clean. We got then the two USP and guns. There is no moving parts, but I do like the detail they did here on the handle. Those patterns over there look very, very good. Paint application is good, no any complaints and these weapons can go directly to that weapon holster. We got then our sword that comes with this cupboard that then you will attach two blade coat on the back. But the sword here looks really cool, the paint application is clean, very shining here the sword is made of plastic, is a bit thin so don't go crazy with this sword or you will break it, but a nice accessory of course. And we got of course the famous blade sunglasses. What I do like about these sunglasses is not only they are painted very clean, but they use that uh, brown shading on the lens that work very well with this figure. And finally we got here this display base which is huge. 
I didn't know that they were going to do such a huge display base. You can compare with the normal Star Wars display base from Hot Toys and you can see the size of this display base. You have a lot of space for the poses you want to do, takes a bit of space on your display cabinet, but a good design and I like this uh, display base. Taking a closer look now at our figure and starting with the head sculpt, it's basically what we saw two or three weeks ago that present toys share a photo. I think that this head sculpt looks really, really good. Very well painted. I like all the details on the skin and the tattoos here in the back. They look amazing. You can see all the details they give into this. It doesn't look at all like a third party head sculpt. I'm not sure if this is some way a recast of the Hot Toys one. I hope it's not because I really like this head sculpt. The veins that you can see all over the head, the hair is well done too. I really like this head sculpt. If you don't like the way they painted the eyes, you can always use him with the glasses with the shades on, which I think is the typical look for Blade, is the one I prefer. It's using him with the glasses, but of course you can also have him posed without them. I do like this, the eyes that the way they paint them is a very uh, focused blade. As for the outfit, as you can see, they add some plastic there on the pants. I haven't removed it yet because I'm just unboxing the figure, but the coat here, it's all made of genuine leather and it feels really good. Way better than the Indiana Jones I reviewed before. This leather doesn't look very thick looks really good. The chest here, this front part, it's not leather. This is kind of a rubber material and plastic. Inside you got a normal uh, shirt and all these parts here are made of plastic. You got a belt underneath that I haven't pushed it out. The pants are also made of genuine leather. The outfit looks beautiful. The coat, the pants, everything. The boots, however, it would be better if they could be double cut boots, but I think to not damage the leather, present toys did just a single piece on the boots. But later I'm going to remove that because that's where we have the vampire stakes. That's why they use this plastic not to damage the leather on the pants. And it's better they do it this way. The coat here in the back, you can see only to show you the pants as well. They have a pocket there, but here the coat looks really, really cool in the back. And here you can see where will you assemble then uh, the scabbard from the sword it will fit just right there. I'm very impressed with this figure, to be honest, and I'm just unboxing it now because I'm going on all of this today. I don't have too much time to test it, but the articulation, I'm going very slowly with it. It's a normal body. The body feels very good. This is a ratchet joints on the elbows. We got as well here in the head, a good articulation. The head actually goes down, very good movement, the downward and upward and the detail there on the neck looks pretty cool. Here on the waist uh, and torso the articulation is not that much, you can see the belt there underneath, some people were asking me if the belt disappear and then here on the pants you need to be careful because here you have the stitching part, don't over extend the legs and here of course you will have the double jointed knees and be very careful when you go back with the knees or else it will happen exactly this and it will mark the leather it will not damage the leather will back to the normal state be very careful when you work with the knees because you can damage it but overall i really like this figure by present toys to wrap this up I think if you pre-order these, you are not going to be disappointed. I'm very, very happy with this blade by Present Toys. From the head sculpt, the details of those tattoos over there, the way they did the accessories, the leather coat and the leather pants, that is a big plus. I think this figure will look amazing in any display. Let's say, for example, if you got Morbius, you can display blade with him and they will look really cool or even that strange the leather material is way better it will not damage with time but i'm a bit afraid with the posings because i don't know if the leather will leave some marks and they will stay for a long time so that's why i'm doing just a very simple pose and i will put it on my display and go on uh, holidays because here in china we start holidays today i'm going a couple days out with my family so i have to do this unboxing just to let you know how does this looks like? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you in the next one.